how to add digital products to Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create and add a digital product into your Shopify store. This is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to visit Shopify. Then you're going to sign up for an account. After you have signed in into your account, you'll see right there the admin dashboard. As you can see, we have everything set up. You need to set up your right there on the settings, your checkout information, and also your checkout page. Then you need to set the shipping if you are going to sell some physical products. And finally, you need to set up the payments. Go ahead and choose your payment plan and also your payment methods. You can add a primary payment method and also a secondary or supported payment or secondary supported payment method like PayPal, Amazon Pay, etc. After you have said that, you're going to the product. Right there, click on products on the left sidebar right there, and you're going to add manually your product. Click on add product, and then you're going to set the name of the product, a description, some media or some images of the product or the presentation of the product itself. You are going to categorize that product, set the pricing, put the inventory right there, and set the quantity to uh, an infinite quantity. And you need to keep this uh, case open for continue selling when stuck out of stock right there. For the shipping, you are going to disable that because it is a physical product, uh, not a physical product, only a digital product. Let's go ahead right there and set a title. For example, I'm going to sell some Canva templates. Templates. And for the description, I'm going to set here five, like that. Let's say that we are going to set five Canva, Canva templates, Canva fully customizable or editable templates, like that. Templates. And there you are going to set a, a detailed description for everything that you are going to set on the pack uh, templates pack i'm going to add the word pack to indicate that you're going to not get only a template but a pack of template here we are going to set the details for the media go ahead and choose whatever you want you can go ahead and select existing media for example right there i'm going to set only an image and i will let this uh, right there put as a media for the category, it will read the images, also combine the title and description and get a category. If it is not your category, you are going to type it manually, for example. So I'm going to set a category of digital product, product like that. And then we are going to set whatever you want from there. Go ahead and make sure that you are going to set the right category. For pricing, I'm going to put a price like that. You can put a comparison or charge the taxes on that price or put a promotional offer. So right there, we can add some variants or some add-ons, for example, or options to make sure that everything is going well. For example, these add-ons can be added for the products that you are going to add more services on it. Here we have as the uh, everything set. We are going to click on save. So we need to fill something for this one. I don't need a something like that. I'm going to click on save. And here we have the product set. This is the digital product. Now, the most important part right there, how we can add the downloadable part of that digital product. So we need right here uh, in general on these, a PDF file to get the links of the downloads because we can not only link them on Shopify. We're going to head over Canva, then we are going to proceed that. We're going to create, for example, a PDF file. So I'm going to say a presentation like that. And then we are going to create a file. So go ahead and choose whatever you want. I'm going to choose this one. Any design can be uh, fulfilling this process. So I will only let uh, one page like that. I'm going to let those, so we are going to set Canva templates like that, a pack 
I'm going to let this back like that. Back like this. So we are going to make it wider to cover all of this area. For this, I'm going to remove all of these because we don't need that. Uh, right there, you can add some photos. For example, go ahead and add whatever you want from the photos. So now we are going to add the most important part. Let's say that this is uh, the PDF file or this is the custom uh, customizable design. So we are going to click on the share button. Now we are going to give a collaboration link or get a collaboration link. And then you are going to select anyone with the link. And here we have the option to set the permission. For example, the person can only view or comment or edit. We are going to set as edit and then we are going to get a link. So the first thing that right here I'm going to do is to download this as a PNG. This is the first thing. So we are going to add it into our website right there or in our Canva uh, product on Shopify. So it will be uploading. So right there, we are going to remove that file and only let this one. The second thing is to get that product as a PDF. So I'm going to set PDF. But before that, we're going to set, for example, a space on. We are going to set link to modify modify the design for example so we are going to set like that here i'm going to set here and this here i'm going to make it bigger make the color dis distinguishable like that so make it like that and you are going to set the link for it so we are going to link it click on link enter a link or search paste that this is the link click on done again done and now we are going to download it as a pdf standard go ahead and get it as pdf standard download it wait for a few seconds open up the pdf and make sure that everything is going smooth here we are going to click on the here button and it will take us normally to the design and let us right there uh, modify it so everything is good right there and we have all the links all the files we go back to shopify we are going to the home page of shopify and then we are going to click on the search bar and type digital downloads like that and we are going to see that on the shopify app store or market store right there it will show you all of the uh, extensions or applications that are available right there we are going only to select this one this is the official app of Shopify it is free so we are going to download it in my case it is already downloaded open it right there and you are going to see all the digital files that has been uh, given and also downloaded in our store so wait for a few seconds you are going to see the app right there and everything is here now we are not going to set anything from here but we are going to close that window go back to the products select the product that you have created from the products then we are going to click on more action as you can see we have the option to add a digital file click on it and right there it will give you a canva template we are going to get the template of it for example in my case i am going to set uh, let's say from there the file from the downloads and I'm going to upload it right there it will be uploading soon and then for the fulfillment it will be automatic automatically send files whenever a person goes and buy the file here we have the product and everything is set now here we have everything set I'm going to back here I'm going to save first go back and here we have the product added normally we're going to search for it and normally it will be active so it will be adding the product this is it uh, the canva template pack we're going to see the pdf file and here we have it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one